From VOA Learning English, this is the Education Report. Children in Guinea recently started the school year after a five-month delay because of Ebola. Liberia plans to reopen schools next month. They closed in July as the deadly virus quickly spread. The actions are a sign of progress in the fight against the epidemic. Liberian officials say schools will have all the necessary safety measures like thermometers for measuring body temperature and antibacterial soap for hand washing. But some Liberian parents are not sure about returning their children to school. Mother Christine Thomas says she first wants the World Health Organization to declare Liberia Ebola free. In Guinea, teachers express the same concern. They worry about how to limit contact between students in what are often overcrowded schools. Teacher Amadou Giallo says the children play together and also share food. He says he thinks reopening schools is a risky decision. Ebola is passed through contact with a sick person's bodily fluids. Schools were shut for five months in Guinea and Liberia, but the difficulties are not over. Fear could lead children to stop attending. A lot of money for schools has been used instead for Ebola efforts. In Sierra Leone, schools remain closed. UNICEF Chief of Education Wangani Grace Nkoma Talo says teenage pregnancy has increased in that country. UNICEF is also investigating reports of increases in child labor. Liberia and Sierra Leone have been using radio and television to broadcast lessons to children, but not all children have these electronic devices. For VOA Learning English, I'm Jonathan Evans.